So in this lecture, we will discuss what is attribute closure and how to find out attribute closure. Fine. See, this is one of the important topic in DBMS because the frequently asked question is what in net or gate or sometimes in your university, university exam as well that they will give you a relation, they will give you some functional dependencies, nothing else will be given, no data will be given and you are asked uh, to find out all the candidate key present in this relation, right? So to find out the candidate keys, all the candidate keys present in this relation, you need attribute closer, you need to find out attribute closer, right? Although you can find out candidate keys uh, using those rules, Armstrong exams as well, but that would be lengthy process and difficult process. But this is very easy. If you know how to find out attribute closer, then you can easily find out the number of candidate keys in a relation or they may ask, they'll give you a key and they'll ask if this is a candidate key or not. So using attribute closer only you can tell this, uh, the given key is candidate key or not, right? So this is very important topic, fine. And if you know, if you know how to find out candidate keys from a given relation, then you can easily solve the problem on, on that uh, second uh, normal form, third normal form and BCNF. Right. So for the point of view of normalization, also this is very important topic. Right. We will discuss it with two or three uh, examples. Right. Now see, if this is a relation given having five attributes and these are the functional dependencies given which are present on this relation. Right. Now see, if can, can I say that A, a determines B and B determines C. So can I say A will determine C? Yes, because of transitivity rule that I, I have already discussed. A determine B, B determine C. So we can say A determine C. Definitely A will determine C. Can I write A will determine A? Yes, because of reflexi reflexivity property, right? Now see, A determines C and C determines D. See, these are the functional dependencies which are directly given. These are also present on this relation which are indirect functional dependencies using the rules we are finding out the functional dependencies right that is why uh, in that video i have told you when we were discussing armstrong axioms that why we are using these rules because of using those rules we can find out all the functional dependencies on a given relation right now see definitely this is true now can i write a determine c a determine c c determine c uh, c determine d so definitely i can write a will determine d right using transitivity rule and a can determine e as well because a determine d d determine e so definitely a will determine e because of same transitivity property right now here can i write a determines a b c d e of course i can write using that union property see here determinant is same, A is determining all the attributes A, B, C, D, E. So you can apply union property and you can combine these attributes, right? If determinant is same, you can uh, combine the dependent. In the previous video, I have already told you. So now A can determine all the attributes. If you have only A in this relation, using A, you can determine all the attributes of this relation, right? Now see, can you write? Here see B determine C and C determine D. This is given. So definitely I can say B will determine D. B can determine D. B determine D, D determine E. So definitely I can say B will determine E using transitivity property, right? And B determines B. This is always valid because this is reflexive reflexivity rule, right? Now see, can I write B can determine B? B can determine C, so I can write C, B can determine D, D and E. Obviously, you can write this thing because of using that union property, right? Now, but B cannot determine A, right? B can determine all the attributes except A, fine. Now, C, can I write C, C will determine D, D determines E, so can I write C will determine E, definitely. C will determine C, definitely C can determine, now can I combine all these C, D and E using the union property, right? Now, C, E will determine what? Using this, can I say something? No. So can I say only one E determine E, 
e can determine itself only if you have e you cannot determine any of that attribute other than e this is because of reflexivity property e can determine e now see what is attribute closer and how to find out or you can say what is closer set it is determined it is an operation which is determined by plus right if i write x and in power i am writing plus or superscript i am writing plus this is the symbol of this attribute closer if i am writing this thing it means this is attribute closer of x now here x is what set of attributes this is very important point x can be one attribute x can be two three four x is set of attributes right now x closer this is what attribute closer of x now how to define attribute closer how to find out it will contain all the attributes of the relation which are determined by x that is attribute closer of x i am writing the definition here it will contain set of attributes determined by x and here x is set of attributes it is not necessary that x is only one attribute it may be 2 3 4 any number of attributes right now in this relation if i ask you what is attribute closer of a then can you tell me how to write down first of all attribute closer of a just write down a and in power you will write plus now here what is attribute closer of a how many and which attribute of this relation you can determine by a i have already discussed a can determine all the attributes right so attribute closer of a is a b c d and e right now if i ask you attribute closer of a d i told you that this is x and this is set of attributes now what is attribute closer of a d how many attributes and which attribute you can determine using a d check see if you apply that augmentation rules after that i'll tell you the simple trick first of all let's check it with augmentation rule see here a determine b so using augmentation can i write a d determines b d yes this is augmentation property you must check out previous video first in the i button then come to this video right because i'm not going to explain all the properties here now here can i write a d determine b and a d determine d this is what splitting property or decomposition property fine so now see a d can determine itself that is a and d using reflexivity property using this a d proper a d can determine b so i can write b as well a d can determine d so i have already written d as well right so i i have found this thing still you need to take care still some attributes are remaining you need to find out those attributes can be determined by ad or not now using of these rule you need to check out which property you can apply which armstrong axiom you can apply and this is this should be very tough or lengthy process now simple trick is what simply ad is there you need to find out ad closer just concentrate on the trick write down ad because obviously that is reflexivity property ad can determine itself that is for sure this is what trivial dependency and this always holds an on a relation right now simply write down ad fine now i have ad now see the dependency is given see here a determines b it means if you have a then you can determine d right so now check do you have a check out we have ad yes we have a so using a can i determine b definitely i can determine b so here you can write b right we have used this functional dependency now next is what b can determine c now check do you have b with you in the attributes yes i have b so using b i can determine c so here i can write c fine now this also used now using c i can determine d and i have c so here i can determine d if i have c you can determine d so definitely in attribute closer i can uh, say that ad can determine d right now no need to uh, write down this d again because i have already taken d so no need to write down it but we have used this right now d can determine e do you have d yes i have d so i can write e as well 
right now we are done and see here we have all the attributes a b c d and e so now a d closer a d if you have a d then also you can determine all the attributes of this relation right now see if i ask you what is closer of b how many attributes which attributes you can determine with b we are not going to use the rules exam rules directly we will check using b you can determine b right that is reflexivity property right now check the dependencies given now here first is a can determine b do you have a because a can determine b so you must have a to determine b do you have a no we don't have a so you cannot use this one here now b can determine c do you have b yes i have so i can determine c now c can determine d i have c so i can determine d now d can determine e i have e d so i can determine e right so these i have used now again check because we are maybe uh, we using these functional dependencies maybe we have that attribute which is used in this functional dependency right so it's not like that only one time you need to check fine again check again this and this this we have used we are left with this one a determine b now check now do you have a no i don't have a right so now also i cannot determine and now c b and c this i have used this i have used this i have used so in this iteration there is no change in this set of attribute now you can stop right no need to check again now this is attribute closer of b i hope now you got how to find out attribute closer let us take one more example find out attribute closer of c d definitely i can determine c and d with the help of c d that is reflexivity property that you can easily write down without looking at the functional dependencies given functional dependencies now check the functional dependencies given a determine b do you have a no i don't have b determine c do you have b no c determine d yes i have c but i have already written d so no need to write down again d determine e do you have d yes i have d so you can write down e now again check because i have added one attribute now check a determine b no we don't have a b determine c we don't have b c d i have used and d e i have used now there is no change in this iteration there was no change in this set of attributes so now stop so now c d closer is c d and e means if you have c d then you can only determine c d and e you cannot determine the value of a and b now here which can be a candidate key see candidate key is what it is a super key or you can say minimal super key or you can say it is a super key whose proper subset is not a super key i have already discussed all the keys in detail with example in the previous video you can check out that video in the sci button right now obviously now first of all find out what is super key here can you find out which is super key super key is what i have already discussed what is super key but here now i have only functional dependencies and relation and uh, with the, in the context of attribute closer i am going to tell you the definition of super key how to find out super key if you have this attribute closer right because that is very simple to find out we don't have any values in the table we are just given a relation or a table having some attributes and functional dependencies no values are given like sids roll numbers and name and something like this right so now super key is what it is set of attributes whose closer contains all attributes of a relation so here this is the definition of super key super key is a set of attributes it may be one attribute or set of attributes means two or three attributes may be there whose closer contains all attributes of a given relation or a table right now here see a closer a closer contains all the attributes of a given relation so can i say it is a super key yes a is a super key a is a super key right according to the definition fine now see ad closer also contains all the attributes of this relation a b c d e and here i have a b c d and e so ad is also a super key fine is b a super key find out b closer that i have already find found out that is b c d e but there is no a in the closer i have only four attribute not all the attribute so b is not a super key is cd a super key no cd is also not a super key right 
now if i ask you the total number of super keys in this relation how to find out that thing see a is a super key fine so if i write a b is this a super key definitely it would be a super key if only a can determine all the attributes so definitely if you will add a with any other attribute given then it also can determine all the attributes fine so for that find out a b closer if the closer contains all the attributes of a relation then you can say a b is also a super key although no need to check if a is super key then you can combine a with any other attribute that would definitely be a super key fine that is common sense now find out a b simply write down a b because using reflexivity rule you can write down a b a b can determine itself a can determine b do you have a yes but i have already written b b determine c so i have b so i can write down c c determine d do you have c yes i have c so using c i can determine d d determine e do you have d yes i can determine e now c a b c d e i have all the attributes i have used all the functional dependencies so you can say that a b is also a super key a c also a super key a d also a super key a b c also would be a super key because a is a super key so you can combine a with any other maybe with one attribute two attribute three attribute four attributes like a b c d e that would also be a super key so how many super keys can be possible here see using these four attributes how many combinations can be possible 2 raised to power 4 that is 16 and all the 16 combination obviously we have a a a a a right and using these we can have 16 combinations so you can say there 16 super keys can be possible in this relation now if you will say ma'am we are not taking a can b c or only c d or b c d be a super key right so you can check out the closer of uh, each one now rather than checking the each one you can check out closer of b c d e complete all the attributes other than a find out closer of b c d e b c d e obviously i can write down this thing right because all the attributes can determine itself right reflexivity property now check out you cannot you cannot determine a with the help of these C A determine B, I don't have A. B determine C, but we have B and C both. C determine D, but I have D anyways. D determine E, but I have E also. But I cannot write down here A because the attributes which you have using those attributes you cannot determine A, right? So the attribute closer is not containing all the attribute of a relation. So you cannot say that B C D is a super key. Now if the complete is not a super key. then definitely only you if you take only portion of this complete then definitely that cannot be a super key right that is for sure so the super keys number of super key present are 16 in this relation right now candidate keys what about candidate key see now super keys are 16 now candidate keys minimal super key or you can say the super key whose subset or you can say whose proper subset not subset proper subset is not a super key right what is proper subset that i have already discussed in that video that we have when we have discussed when we have discussed that types of keys right now see a as a super key right so proper subset of a may be what proper subset contains less attribute than this set it has only one attribute less attribute means you cannot take a so that would be phi and phi cannot be a super key right so no proper subset of a is a super key so definitely a is what super key as well as candidate key right now see this is also super key can a d be a candidate key definitely not why so because proper subset of a d is what one is a one is d and out of two proper subset a is what already a super key but candidate key is what the super key whose proper subset is not a super key so this cannot be a super key so i guess now you got 
out of all the available out of all the 16 super keys only one candidate key can be there that is a because all the 16 will have a right either ad or ab or abcd or abc or something like this and all the proper subset of all the other super keys would be would contain a definitely and this proper subset is super key so no other super key can be a candidate key only one candidate key is possible here that is a fine i hope you got how to find out candidate key super keys and all right now we will discuss it with the help of one more example so now let us take this example here i have relation this and having five attributes and functional dependencies are only two functional dependencies right i am taking a simple example in next video we'll, i'll discuss it with complex example as well right first of all you uh, get this thing now see how to find out attribute closer i am saying that find out attribute closer of a means a plus how to find out it directly write down a because of refle reflexivity rule a can determine itself right now check out the functional dependencies a can determine b so now do you have a if you have a in that case only you can determine b right so do you have a yes i have a so i can determine b you so you can write down here e, b next is d can determine e do you have d no i don't have d fine and that's it we have only uh, two functional dependencies we have already used this one so now a closer is what a b now next is if i say b c find out b c closer so directly i can write down b and c because of reflexivity property now check out the dependencies a will determine b do you have a no d will determine e do you have d no so using b c i can only determine b c nothing else right so i hope now you got how to find out attribute closer right now here see what is super key now find out candidate keys in this relation now see if i write down a b c d and e find out attribute closer of this all the attributes i am taking because obviously this can be set of attributes so now this would be a b c d e because each attribute can determine itself because of reflexivity rule right and here the attribute closer of this is having all the attributes of a relation so this is what a super key definitely right and we already know if you take all the attribute of a table or a relation that would be a super key definitely because duplicacy of uh, you know uh, there would be no duplicate records in the table right now if you check a b d and e is this a super key or not find out closer of first of all obviously this thing for, to find out is it a super key or not or a candidate key or not find out closer of the given key right now closer of this is what simply write down a b d e because of reflexivity property now check out the dependency is given a determine b do you have a yes but i have already b d determine e you have d but you have already e so i cannot use this or this right so now we are left with c here we don't have c so this cannot be a super key right now if you write a c d e now check this is a super key or not to check this thing first of all find out the closer of given key now closer is what you can directly write down a c d e whichever is given because of reflexivity property now check the dependencies a determine b you have a yes i have a so using a i can determine b if you have a you can determine b so i can write down here b now next says d determine e do you have d yes but i have already written e so no need to write down it again and now see the closure of this is containing all the attributes of a relation a b c d e see order does not matter here in a set right you can write down this or you can write a b c d e so this is what a super key right now if you check a c d only is this a super key or not now find out closure of this thing you can simply write down a c d right a determine b do you have a yes so i can write down here b d determine e do you have d yes i can write down e i have used all the dependencies and here also i have all the attributes in this closer set the closer uh, set of this a c d so this is definitely a super key fine so now see can it be this super key can be a candidate key no because proper subset of this is what 
this also this also and both are super key so this cannot be candidate key this is not super key so obviously this cannot be candidate key is this can be a candidate key this proper subset is what one is acd and acd acd is still a super key so this cannot be a candidate key what about acd proper subset of acd is what ac you can say or cd and ad right and a c and d so uh, any of these if a super key then definitely it would not be a candidate key now find out a c closer c here i can write down a and c now functional dependency check a determine b i have a so i can write down here b d determine e but i don't have d so i cannot use so this cannot determine all the attributes so this is not a super key what about c d here i can write down c d I cannot use this one because I don't have A. I have D, so I can write down here E, right? Again, check A. Do you have A now? No, I don't have. So this is not a super key because the set of closer set is not containing all the attributes. You can check out this closer. This would not be a super key. This and this. This would not be a super key, right? So now none of the proper subset of ACD is a super key. So this is a candidate key, right? Now you will say that. Ma'am, uh, there can be many combinations. For all the combinations, you need to check proper subset and all. Then how you can find out that? It would be very tough to find out that how many candidate keys are there in a relation, right? If suppose I have in a relation ten attributes, then definitely to find out proper subset of each super key and to check individually, that would be a tough process, right? So now for this, you need a shortcut. and that short trick we will i'll discuss in the next video i'll uh, take one example one or two example and with the help of that short trick i'll discuss how to find out all the candidate keys in a given relation right within second uh, seconds you can find out all the candidate keys right in this table in this relation for this relation only one candidate key is there that is act i know the answer using that trick only but that trick i'll the solution of this why i am saying that only acd is a candidate key no other candidate key is there right that i'll uh, discuss in the next video fine the main uh, the motto of this video was to get to know what is attribute closer and how to find out attribute closer right and what is need of attribute closer you need attribute closer to find out super keys and candidate keys now we will discuss it with a simple trick in the next video so now we'll see in the next video till then bye take care